Yeah, she's here. Yeah, I do. I'll be jumping quick. I'm just trying to start in a particular place for you. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, where is she? Oh, cut me into Spence then. Three, two. Hey, Roland's in. Oh, there you are. Are you there? I'm just starting it now. Yeah, I'll pay attention. I've got, I've got, I've got something to show you. Here you are. Yeah, look. Yeah, let's start with the mini. Yay! Look at that. I know, four dollars. Hello, Roland. Yeah, there's a better one round the corner. I just, uh, I just come round here and I thought, oh, I'm going to start the scope with the mini. I've just seen three of them, so we're going to see, th we're going to see three minis. There's a nicer one round the corner. Get ready for this one. I just didn't. I was just trying to think where. Yeah, I've moved to London, Roland. Yeah, Derby. Look at this. Uh, look at this posh garage. Do you want any of these cars here? Look at these prices. Yeah, look at, look at the prices. Yeah, there's one there. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. See if you fancy any of these ones. Yeah, let's have a look at the prices. That's nice. Yeah, they're going to get even posture in a minute. Get ready for the prices are going up and up. I'm just cheap, starting with the cheapest thing on. Yeah. Yeah, what about this one here? I'm going to have that one. I'm going to buy that one with all me, buy me a coffees. I think I'll have that car when I've got me enough coffees. Yeah, he's, 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 he's one that's quite reasonable. Yeah, look at this one. There's a Bentley for 20 grand here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, some nice cars. Another Bentley. Oh, yeah, here's another Mini. Yeah, let's have a look at this Mini. Mini. Oh, it's, oh, it's, for, it's for sale. Oh, yeah. That one's for sale. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, there's another. Oh, there's three minis. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, get. Oh my God, there's there's six minis. Are you ready? <laughs> there's six minis. Yeah, get ready. Look at this one. Oh no, I think we've come to the mini garage. There's four of them. Oh no. Look. I didn't, I didn't read. Oh yeah, this has got a spoiler on the back as well. Look at that. It's got a spoiler. Oh, 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 oh yeah, this is the posh one. Look at that. John Cooper work, that one. That's nice. That's a convertible. Leather seats. That's got leather seats. This is going to turn into a mini scope now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's a white one there. That that one's nine thousand. I didn't realise they got too many minis. Also, they just I didn't know these were all around the corner. I was just starting with that one on the street there. I didn't, I didn't know there was all these around the corner. I like that one. That's nice. Well, I'll tell you the prices. There's a four door one there. That's twelve thousand. That's seventeen thousand. The blue one. This black one is 9,000. There's a white one there, 7,000 with four doors. And uh, ooh, oh, yeah, he's an Aston Martin. This is nice. Look at this. Yeah, what's this one? That's nice. It's only 40,000. That's nice. Look like James Bond in that one. Yeah, I like those, yeah.
No, I see. I see a lot of people just do it themselves. They just paint it, don't they? <laughs> just get normal paint and think that. Uh... Right. That's just. That's just. Uh, that's just. I know that's what you need. You need a red wax. Honestly, Roland, that wasn't planned. I just thought, oh, is it? I'll show many this. I'll show Derby this mini. Now I've come to a garage that's got four minis and six Aston Martins. Yeah, there's a nice Range Rover, Derby. Do you want one of those? Nice big Range Rover. That's a big. Oh, there's some nice. Cars. That's a nice one. Anyway, anyway, we're supposed to be about nature walks, not looking at cars. Shouldn't be. We shouldn't be looking at cars, should we? Hang on. Uh, right, I'm just distracted then. It's all. <laughs> Gone. Uh, right, where were we? Right, that's the minis out of the way. We've had mini overload. Right, we've got six minis. That's that done with. Right, right just get across this. Uh, just let me get across this stupid, noisy, busy road. Hang on, I'll be. We'll be able to talk. We'll be able to uh, we'll talk when we get across the road. The problem, the problem is, now, being rolling, you've got to understand, I didn't, I didn't plan all those minis, it just threw me that, did that? <laughs> I just saw one on the side of the road. I was just going to show you that one there, I thought, oh my God, he's got six minis. <sighs> right. Right, let's get away from this busy road. Right, that's better. Oh, everywhere you go, there's always a busy road. Oh. Yeah, I like that red and black mini, I like red and black. That goes together well. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, it's one of those funny British days, yeah. I've had no sunshine yet. Uh, you can see the sky, it's just obviously grey. There's the sky. It's just like dull grey. I've seen a little bit, um, I've seen a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue and uh, but the problem is, this is where I was last time when the snow started coming down. And I said, oh, let's go home before it gets too thick. <laughs> but I'm just trying to, I'm just getting really, really, sort of really bored with the same roots. So I'm just sort of winging it at the moment and just, just picking any, any quiet streets, really. Let's have a little wander around the quiet streets and uh, see what we can find. Let's have a little wander around. Obviously, we might see something something different. You can see obviously different. Oh, I found a watch it this morning. Um, I was just thinking about you because I thought, I bet you've just got up. And then what I do on a, on a Sunday afternoon, there's a chart show, right? It's a BBC, BBC. You can probably listen to it if it's a BBC. And it's basically, uh, how can I explain it? It's basically like um, a DJ show. It'll be on two hours, right? And they basically they'll pick they'll pick a chart from a particular week, and then they'll play an hour of songs from that particular chart. They'll pick two different years, and then they'll, oh yeah, here's another mini. Yay! I don't like that cream. I don't really like cream in a car. You know, on the mini, is that your alarm when you see that red light flashing? That's the alarm, isn't it? You keep seeing a red light flashing. That's some sort of church, whatever that is, a little church. Oh, a spiritualist church. Does that make sense to Americans, what that means, a spiritualist church? A spiritualist church. Yeah, I think it means, um, what, do, what do you call it? Um, uh, how can I put it in a phrase? I think it's where... Uh, I'm going, I'm going to put it in a phrase, Roland will probably help me. Hang on. Uh, it's a bit like if you perhaps lost somebody, and I think you can go to those type of churches where they can speak to your loved ones, you know, like them type of people, I think. Is that, is that what I'm thinking? Yeah. That's a nice Range Rover. Yeah, like, it, yeah, not religious, more like, sort of, it's hard to, hard to explain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mean. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hang on. If you can hear that noise in the background, that's normally the waterfall that I show you, where I'm just coming at it from a different way. You know that term? Here it's in the background. Yeah. I can show you it in a minute. It's just uh, it's just behind this hedge. Oh no, you won't believe what I've just seen. Mini. <laughs> You think this, yeah, I know this is what I need. We need a red, white, and blue one, don't we? We need you and me and uh, and Roland and a red, white, and blue mini and playing a, that song, Self Preservation Society. <laughs> oh dear. That's a brilliant film, that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, our Porsche. Porsche do a big one now. Ooh, yeah, it's got the badge on. Porsche. They do like a big, uh, what do you call it? It's a big family car now. Big Porsche, that is. Big family car. Right. Right, I'll just show you that water while you're in. Have you, have you seen this water when I've been with you? I don't think you've been live with you when the water's been on my scope, have I? Haven't you seen the water on my scopes? Yeah. Let's just grab a quick look while you're here. Hang on. It's like called a weir. It's not really a waterfall. And obviously it'll be quite noisy. It's like called a weir. It's like a little bit of a mini waterfall. Yeah. And this is quite noisy. This is this is this is really crazy today because we've had a lot of rain. I think last night. You know, let's have a little look at it. Yeah. You know, let's, let's let enjoy the sound of water. Wow, it is rough today. Look at that. Polly can't hear over the set, just have a periscope silence for a second because it's so noisy. Hang on. Let's enjoy the water. Oh, that, I've never seen it so so uh, so strong. Wow. Look at that. I've never seen all this white bit like where there's that much you know strength from it. This um, this white torrent at the bottom. Right, yeah, we'll have to move away from the house. I can't hear myself think. Crikey, that's noisy. Oh, right. That's your little bit of water. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah, it has got quite a lot of current on it. This It's called the River Dee. Uh, it just passes through the park, I think. It's a, there's a river that passes through the park. But uh, we'll have a little wander around. Just do a bit of a random wander. <laughs> A random wander exercise scope. Uh, right. What? Well, all right. There's, there's another mini. Are you counting all these minis, Darby? There, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go over to that church. We'll have a little wander to that church over there, Luke. We'll have a little wander over to that church. Right. If you've been out, I've missed any comments I've missed. I'm trying to. Hello B3 Norm. B3 Norm, hello. Steve next door. Super Ever, Silly Me, Mark, Deep Blue. It's free to laugh in. All freckles. All freckles. Take a test drive, here we are. <laughs> I know I've just I've just missed some of the comments. Oh, I'm just it's it's hard to you've got people have got to understand when you walk and you do tend to miss some comments. Oh yeah, there's a big queue. Oh right, yeah, because it's Saturday afternoon, the pavilion's got a big queue, I think. Everybody's buying coffees. I think it's open for food, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's on the menu. Ooh, bacon sandwiches. Tea cakes, brownies, hot chocolate, coffee. Toasties, they're like a toasted sandwich, you know, like a... Like two pieces, like a... a like when you put in George Foreman, you're like a sandwich maker. Two rounds of bread with a filly and then it's served hot. Yeah. Yeah. Pine nuts, mango chutney. Yeah. Served. 
Oh, it's making me mouth water. Why am I looking at food? Why am I looking, why am I looking at food? <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, he'll keep your fingers crossed for have a bit of sunshine so it uh, warms us all. Yeah, this is, this is another local park. Apparently I'm in London, so we'll leave it at that, Derby. We're in London. That's what the app says. <laughs> I'm in London. Shh. I'm in London. Shh. I thought I'd have a... I thought I'd have a... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a bit, it's, a bit hand, it's a bit handy, really, because it's covering where I am. Yeah, as far as you know, I'm in Stoke-on-Trent. You know, I'm tapping my nose, you know. As far as you know. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I see some ducks. Let's say hello to the duck. I see the ducks. Yeah, you can't really get close to me. They're behind a fence, so. Uh, behind this fence. Two fences. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it's time to put my glove on, I think. It's one of those days I think I've got to put my glove on. Oh, the glove's coming out. Oh, I'll have to put my glove on. Yeah. Oh, because the sun isn't out, see. It doesn't uh, It doesn't warm it up a little bit with the sun being out. Oh, hang on. Hello. Scoping, scoping. Right. I'll just put my other hand in my pocket. But the problem is, until you've got an iPhone, Darby, you don't realise you can't you can't press the home button on the iPhone Seven because it's got like a haptic feedback button, so you can't you can't have a glove on and press the home button. It's like you have to have your bare finger because it's got fingerprint sensors on it, so you have to take your glove off. <laughs> you have to expose. Your, I know you have to expose your thumb. You can touch the screen, but you can't touch the home button. It's like a haptic feedback button, so you've got to have your skin touching it. Well, that's why I always went for the iPhone 7, because obviously I miss the home button. I don't really want a phone without the home button, because on the newer ones, there's no home buttons, is there, you know? You just like, touch the screen. <sighs> and uh, I just noticed uh, on YouTube, there's a, new, uh, there's a new Samsung phone out, isn't it? Is it the S20 or S21? I think the S21 is out now. There was like a, a Samsung announcement yesterday. I think they're it's the S21 now. I can't keep up with them how many there's been now. S21, I think. Probably be a thousand pounds anyway to be an expensive phone. Yeah, well, this is well, basically, I was, I, I mean, but the problem is, I was on an Android, I was on the S7, which obviously was the top of the range Samsung at the time, but obviously, I was, I was using it for Periscope and the quality wasn't very good. And somebody says you have to go. You have to go over to an Apple phone for make for make Periscope clearer. So I went over to an Apple phone, and it's been a lot better. Yeah, because obviously I've I've seen my broadcast and I've seen yours, and you can see if you try to film anything that's like um, a lot of detail, you know, like grass or trees or plants or anything like that. It can look very fuzzy, like very fuzzy, very sort of not very clear. Uh, but obviously when I watch my broadcast back, they just seem perfect, you know, it's just like HD quality, you know, you can like, this should look okay to you, you know, everything's nice and crisp and clear. <sighs> yeah, it is a bit of a... Well, you are you are, well, you are five thousand miles away, though, aren't you? So we, we can't have it first. At least you can see me. I just can't believe we're talking and you can see me. I mean, it's a, it's a revelation just to be able to speak to people the other side of the world. <sighs> no, well, I mean, the thing is, you've got to understand. If you bought like the latest Android phone, that's a thousand pound. It's still not going to make Periscope any better because it doesn't seem to. 
obviously the Android app has to cover a lot of different models of phones you see whether if you've got an Apple it's obviously it's obviously optimized for the same phones you know there's only a couple of phones it's optimized for and obviously it's because Android's got to be optimized for a thousand phones it never, it never uses the power of the uh, the handset right. let's go have a look at this nice church yeah I just took a detour to see this nice little church yeah Da, da, da. Let's have a look at this church. And then I'm going to go out the back of the park and see what we explore because I can see another path. This path comes onto a main road. So we'll go the other path that doesn't go on the main road. Right. Right. This is uh, St. Stephen's Church. There's a nice little British church. There we go. This one hasn't got a spire, if you know Starby, no spire on this one. Just like a little, like a little flat roof. Yeah, there you are, there's a cock, you know, do you have those in America, there are. A wind, a wind, a wind thing, yeah. Weather vane. Yeah. Right. Yes, and, uh, oh, I forgot me, uh, when I left you yesterday, I forgot to talk about my new flavour of uh, health bar. And I've just reached out. I've just, I, had, I had a new flavour yesterday. I, I forgot to tell you about it, so I had to consume it without you there. I had. Uh, it was salted caramel, the one I had yesterday. I found a new flavour. Right, so, so remind me, bring me salted caramel out for the next walk. And then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll look at it. Have you tried to see if you can buy those naked bars in the States? Have they come up as uh, available anywhere? Them naked bars? Yeah, I mean you'll have some equivalent because you have health, health food stores, don't you, Sam? Right. I was just hoping we've got some, yeah, it's N-A-K-D with the E, you take the E out, N-A-K, N-A-K-D, you just take, the e. yeah, N-A-K-D, naked health, naked health bars, yeah. It does feel cold enough to snow, I can feel my hands numb when my gloves on, so it is cold enough to snow today. And uh, I said they've had snow in Scotland, and I think they've had snow in Leicester, so I think it's just a matter of when it comes, really. And I, I, I bet it's going to be typical because it started snowing last time I was here. Uh, it was okay, the sun was out, and then half an hour after it started uh, snowing. So we made our way home. So uh, it gives you a little bit of more excitement to the um, to the scopes, don't it? You know, if it's snowing, something a bit different. All right. I know I saw all the, I saw, I saw all the crazy weather where it's even snowing in Spain. It's like about six foot deep in Spain, isn't it? Yeah, and somebody was saying in Spain, obviously, they used to snow in the mountains, you know, high up in the mountains, but uh, it was like they were sort of trudging through it about four foot deep in the middle of the town. All right. Yeah, because they're usually good on, they're usually good on Amazon, aren't they? The, uh, they usually cross-platform things, don't they? Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, the only one I haven't had, I think, was the Christmas limited edition where they had gingerbread. I think they had gingerbread at Christmas, I think. I met, oh. Yeah, I think the Christmas one was Christmas. Pineapple? I haven't had that one. Where's that one from? But I have, um, I think I missed out on the Christmas pudding one. And the, uh, there's like two Christmassy ones. Yeah, I think there's Christmassy ones. I think there's Christmas pudding or mince, mince pies or something. They have some limited different. Yeah. But I say it, it's a yeah, you can do with like a, we can, especially the postage isn't so expensive and you could, you could tend to send your stuff. 
because I know a few people on there, a chap who's in England, he used to get sent a care package from some American viewer. He sent him like a big box full of like American treats and that, you know. So I don't know how much, I don't know how much the postage would be. <laughs> oh yeah, well, they must do. Must be crazy. <laughs> Oh right, yeah, they're about a pound each. I mean, yeah, they're about they're about ninety. Pounds. Yeah, they're, I'd say about a pound or a dollar. Yeah, they're about ninety p. I think so. They probably be, cost about a dollar. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, that's always good about Amazon because they do like a they do like a what's it don't they like um obviously I could order stuff from America. There's some stuff what they'll post out, won't they? They, uh, they call it worldwide shipping or something. Because they have all the stock in their distribution centres, I think there is stuff I can. Uh, you, you tend to have like American items in the British warehouses, I think. Obviously, they order that much of it, so I think there's probably a lot of American products that are in the uh, the British uh, the British store. What's available? <sighs> yeah, we do have a few stores where you can go in and they sell a lot of the American candy and things. You know, the American particular American flavours. You know, it's like some store sell things that like a I've noticed our local record shop started to sell like a lot of Japanese food uh, like I don't know if you're aware of like Kit Kats you know you can buy different flavors of Kit Kats and in Japan they have lots of weird flavors you know you can get like wasabi Kit Kats and all sorts of strange flavors uh, yeah but I don't know why they just don't do it in strange flavors like Right. Right. I'll see Gary's in. Hello, Gary. Gary's in the house. I see his face, see his face at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it just feels weird, you see. When I, the problem is, you see, what feels weird to me is I'm not used to walking where there isn't anybody. It just feels weird to be in this park with so many people about. <laughs> it just feels weird when there's, there's usually never anybody about on my walks. And then there's a lot of people here with it being the weekend. It's for... Uh, well, they, haven't, they haven't repaired this subsidence here. They've got like a all this just collapsed. Look, can you see it? All this just collapsed. It's, uh, there used to be a fence, and it's all fell in the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a tree. The trees fell over. It's made a little bit of a nice sound of water for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's enjoy the sound of water for a second. Yeah, you can tell there's been a lot more rainwater because this is usually stationary. Hello, dog. Hello. 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 Where's your owner gone? <laughs> the dog's just come say hello. <laughs> right, let me just check it. Test. Let me just do, catch up on comments just a sec in case we've... Uh, We've missed anybody. Right. Right, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Right. Yeah, it's all right standing still. Oh, hang, on. hang on, I'm zoomed in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know, I was that close, Derby, yesterday. I was outside a shop, right? I was outside a shop that sells gimbals. And I thought, oh, shall I buy a gimbal? Shall I buy a gimbal? And I hesitated. I will, I will Gary, but what the trouble is, is... There's two models of the gimbal, you see. There's one from last year, and they've got a new model that's like about forty pounds dearer. And the only real difference is, is that you can mag, you can like magnet. It's like the, to put your phone in it. The old one you have to clip it in, and the new one has got like a magnet 
so it just clips on like and clips off with a magnet instead of like faffing about with trying to get it into the holder you know it's like a magnetic magnetic clear fix on it Right, let's just take a breath, just a second, let me just take a breath. Right, just take a breath. Just decide which way we're going. I thought, I thought we'll just explore down this path here, where we haven't been down this path here before, at the back of the park. Because it's only a small park, you see, so I thought we'll just explore down these little paths and see where we go. I'm trying to keep it, yeah, try and keep it to about an hour, I've just forgot when I started, hang on, how long have I been going? Got carried away with those, with those... I got carried away with those minis, hang on. Oh, I've been there, uh, I've been 30 minutes, that's it, half an hour, so. Right, we're okay. Yeah, I've had 30. Yeah, just. Uh, yeah, just ask Amazon for a 20 minute uh, uh, stop uh, timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably end up coming back to the park because I don't know where this path goes. I'm just, <laughs> I see a lot of people are coming down it, so we'll just have a little wander. We might see more of the river. We'll see, hopefully we'll see more of the river because the river just goes at the side of me here. Can you see it? We might see some nicer scenes of the water. You can see all the water there. Look. The water behind those trees. Just have to be careful because there's a big drop there with no fence. Look. <laughs> Don't go for a swim today. It won't end well. Cold, cold, cold. Oh yeah. Oh this what's annoying me is I've been in this park for years. I've never thought of exploring up these other paths. You know, you just you get that used to the same path. And you think, cool, let's explore this new path, see where this goes. Let's go explore. Yeah, you just like your legs just get used to one way of walking, don't they, you know? So we'll have a little wander around here, see where we can find. Yeah. There's a lot of people walking, so it doesn't feel too isolating. There's a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people, is it? There's a... Oh, yeah, there's an old building. It looks like an old water mill. Look at that. Water, water. Yeah, you're basically sharing with this for the first time. I've never walked down this path, so we're having a little bit of a, a reveal of where this path goes. So I can hear the sound of water. So I think we're going. I think we're following the path of the um, the water. I can hear a big roar of water. So I don't know if we can get any closer to it. It'd be nice if we could get a bit closer to the water. A yeah, yeah, it's just a tree line. Right, are we up to date with comments? Are we up to date with comments? I don't know if you know, uh, Darby, do you know that comedian called Eddie Izzard? Are you aware of him? Do you know Eddie Izzard? All right. It's basically, he's been, the past few years, he's been doing a lot of things for charity. He does a lot of, like, running and uh, trying to raise awareness of charities and He's like a stand-up comedian. He's well, he's well known. And uh, at the moment, he keeps popping up on Periscope. And he's basically on a treadmill. He's trying to raise awareness of some uh, charities and that. And he's like on a treadmill. He's doing about, he's doing about six hours a day on a treadmill. And, uh, oh, we are. I can hear the sound of water. Oh, I can hear a nice... The sound, the sound of water is getting louder. Oh, cool. We'll be able to see the sound of water a bit closer, I think. I can hear it getting louder. Hang on, let's see where this path goes. There's gold paths everywhere. I think these people are getting down the path. Hang on, let's see where this path's going. I hear the sound of water getting louder. Are we up? Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting walked to it now. Are you ready? Get, get, your, get your viewing screens ready. Hang on. Let's go, let's see how close we can get. 
Yeah, I'll get ready for this. Hope the signal's all right. Can you see me? Oh, wow, look at the sound of this water. Are you ready for this sound? It's very loud. Oh, my God. Look at this here. Ah. Uh, look at the strength of that water today. You'll have to shout. I can't hear you. <laughs> I have to raise your voice while I'm standing here. Ah. Oh my goodness, that's what you call a flow of current. Now oh, the, pa the power of water, yeah, can't believe this. I didn't even know this was here. I'm glad I've come down this new path. I know you've got to go a wander, a wandering, a wandering. Oh, it looks like a. Um, can you see the wheel there, Darby? It looks like a watermelon. Can you see the wheel? There's a wheel. Luke. Is the quality okay? Oh, good, good, good. I can't believe I've been this. I've been this. I've been this park a hundred times, and I didn't know this was here. Well, I can get even closer, but I'll have to watch it don't fall in. Hang on. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is this is about this is this is like this because it's been raining a lot. It's really strong today. Yeah, this must be an old mill where they used to use the power of the water. You get a lot of that in England where they, uh, they use a lot of power the, the, the rivers to uh, run the machinery. Wow. Can't believe this is round the corner. <laughs> wow. Can't believe it. Right. As long as it's the problem is it's that loud you can't communicate. It's gone. I can't hear anything you've said. Hang on. Just move away now. Oh no no it's it's definitely my end. It's definitely I can't hear what you're saying. I've got to shout over it. Oh, crap. oh yeah, he's a cool dog. Dog. There's a dog. Well, there's a lot of people walking down here. Anyway, let's just investigate a bit longer. See what's happening. Yeah, there's some people getting their exercise. Well, they're just heading to the park. That's obviously, this is like the main route to the park, isn't it? So, oh, cool. I can't believe it. all the times I've been in this park in the summer and didn't know that was there. Anyway, let's have a little walk down. Yeah, I just thought we might see a little bit of the town centre, but we'll have to see how we go with time. I was just going to... Because basically the park is across the road, you see, where those minis were. That was the town centre. I thought I'd just start in the park area. And then uh, I'll just have a little wander around the town after. Um, hop it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can go over the hour, it's just obviously, yeah, I can, I can go over the hour, it's obviously, I'm just trying to give myself a bit of a, uh, obviously just trying to give myself an idea of time scale, that's all. Yeah, 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 I think, I think that's it, we'll just head back this way. Yeah, might be a good place to start the walk that will actually, at the back where that water was just, it might be a good place to start at this end, and then you can obviously head back to the town then, you know. And we can start here and go back to the town. Yeah, it's always a bit of a what it trying to work out what's best for the route, you know. Trying to think where's best to start. Always, always trying to think where's best to start. A bit like on your walks, isn't it, you know. But I did find last night, you know, I just I was just in bed this morning and thought, you know, when you think about you want you want to 
when you think about something you want to happen and you think, I wish there was an app for that, and I think, I bet there will be. So I found one this morning. I basically got an app. I thought, is there an app that will tell me what the local time is and what the local weather is, you know, in different cities? Because obviously when I get up, I'm always wondering what time you were on and what your weather's doing, you know, like vice versa. And um, I basically got like a... I put an app on my phone where I can put like... Um, it gives me my local time and weather. And then I add your, I add Loveland. It let me add Loveland in Colorado. And then it tells me your weather, it tells me your weather and your time. So I can just flip between them instead of keep asking Google like all the facts like. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. It's basically on my phone. It looks like a clock. It's basically an old fashioned clock with ticking fingers. But it's obviously showing you the weather like on some of the sections of the clock face. It's telling you the time. Yeah, it's like a... Just type in... Yeah. It's like a world clock weather app. Yeah, it's useful. I think it's only about pound fifty or something. And, uh, and then you can just add cities. So I thought, just to torment us, I've added Egypt, and I've added Miami, and I've added Florida, just to make us tormented to how nice it probably is there. So I'm flicking between like England, I look at England and then I look at Loveland and then I look at Florida, then I look at Egypt <laughs> and see how hot it is there. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's quite mild today, I've just had to be. Uh... I've just had to take my hat off so it isn't cold. It isn't cold, I've just took my hat off. Oh. Yeah. I've got me, uh, yeah, it's actually me, uh, I think it's the wind chill with the wet, the weather, that's the main thing that makes you cold. The weather, the wind, like the wind chill, you know. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad the reception's okay. Anyway, let's keep an eye. The trouble is with you being, once you have a call in like yourself, I feel like we're just having a normal chat on the phone. <laughs> you just forget you're on Periscope, you know. You just feel like you're having a normal, <laughs> you feel like you're having a normal chat. And then they think, oh, I've got, to see, I've got to look at the comments and everything else. <laughs> yeah, because I always get a lot of names joined. What I'm getting at the moment is you get a lot. All right, Gary's there, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did say to the, uh, I was on that, uh, I was on that Q&A with Haps last night and uh, I told him about that I'd like uh, Chromecast integration. He says it's on the list of things to do, so, to get the Chromecast integration, so. That'll be better, then you can watch, it, watch the broadcast on your big tally then. Oh. No, I've been there. I've been seeing the sales derby. I'm really tempted how cheap the TVs are getting now. You can get like a 65 inch for quite reasonable now. If I, if I sort of <laughs> if I lived if I, if I was in my own my own my own place, I think I'd just have a massive tally and just keep watching playing games and watching YouTube on it. <sighs> Yeah, did did you say is can you get that can you get that app called Britbox? Is that an American thing available? Where it's called Britbox, where you can get all British stuff. All right. Yeah, you'll you'll have to explore, experiment with some British shows and tell me what you've enjoyed. <laughs> all the British stuff. Yeah, I think. Yeah, what you want, what you want is much more quintessential British humour, don't you like? If you watch something called, have you have you heard of something called Only Fools and Horses? That's a brilliant show. <laughs> just type, just type, just type that in. You might enjoy that. It's it's a good sit. It's like a sitcom based in like London, like a family who are trying to make Only Fools and Horses. Try that one. Try Only Fools and Horses. Uh, Faulty Towers, have you tried Faulty Towers or Blackadder? 
things like that. I think you'll, you'll find that funny. If you like Monty Python, you'll like everything, I suppose, you know. They're a bit more zany, you know. We know they're a bit more zany, aren't they, the Monty Python people, you know. Yeah. But you, do you know what you're going to make? You, you know what's going to make you feel old? It's going to make you feel old. Are you ready for this? It's just coming up. To, it's just past the anniversary of 30 years of Mr. Bean. <laughs> There's a, document, there's a documentary on the tally last night interviewing Rowan Atkinson. And he says how time flies, 30 years since he did Mr. Bean. Yeah. But what, I, what I'm going to, you know, when you, I was just going to ask you another topic. Right. Before I get on to my story. Have you ever met anybody famous? Let's use that question for you. Have you met anybody famous? Oh, oh. Well, what we can have a discussion on, on hat, what will I be able to have a discussion on, on hats, is when I blow the dust off my old autograph book that I used to do. Because I used to be really crazy on going to theatres and hanging around the stage doors, you know. And I've got autographs of quite a lot of uh, stage actors and uh, famous people. And I was just, when we just been on about Mr. Bean, right, when Mr. Bean was famous, he did like a, he did like a theatre show where he travelled to theatres. And he came to my theatre, and I'll show you. You can see how young I look on it. I've got a photo of me with me uh, standing next to Mr. Bean. And he's like, I've got his autograph and everything. So we'll be able to have a laugh and uh, see how young I look with me moustache when I'm in my 20s. Looking all thin. Looking all thin and young. <laughs> uh, I know, and you always watch old programmes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah, I mean, basically Stoke-on-Trent is like, um, if you have something that travels the country, it'll tend to come to Stoke-on-Trent. Not always, but you'll get them going to Birmingham, Manchester, London, Stoke-on-Trent, because we have got a lot of theatres. We've got two big theatres. We've got one for, we've got like one for plays, you know, like a play or a theatre play, and then we've got one for live music. We've got something called the Victoria Hall where we have live music. We have a lot of live bands come and live live comedians come, and uh... right, yeah. Yeah, there's another mini mini. <laughs> oh God. I'm having too many minis now. I'm sick of seeing minis now. <laughs> we're, getting many, we're getting many overload today. Yeah, but that's another subject because I'm just thinking, you see, because obviously I keep thinking of the time distance. And obviously, when you said, we said last night, I said, when you relaxed on the set, you know, when you relaxed on your sofa and you've had your, you've had your, t your, your food and everything, you know. And I said, oh, we'll have a nice little chat. And it's like half past, it's like one o'clock in the morning for me then. You go like a bit past it, don't you? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I was aware of the. T I, I was aware of the. I was aware of the time, and I just thought. Uh, I just thought like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably contact her now. And I think I just fall asleep. <laughs> I tend to go to bed with my phone. I, I've got this habit of going to bed with my phone, you know, and think, oh, I'll just do a little bit of Periscope and talk to Darby before I go to sleep, and then. I just wake up with my phone on the floor, you know. I must have nodded off. Oh, dear. Right. Yeah, if you just let me know the earliest that you can chill, <laughs> I'll try and come on. <laughs> oh dear, right. Yeah, so that was a bit of me past. That was when we, that was before the internet. And computers, you know, when you have to find something to do. And uh, I basically got a bug. I just started going. I used to go to Manchester and Birmingham, you know, all the uh, the big theatres, you know, to see some of the stars, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the most famous picture I've got. Let me just think, because you'll probably hear of some of them. I've got, uh, obviously, I've got Mr. Bean. I've got Rowan Atkinson. Uh, a lot of them are quite British orientated, so you probably haven't heard of a lot of them. Uh, 
I've got, can you remember that, can you remember that group from the 80s called Box Fizz? Can you remember those? Yeah, you know Cheryl Baker, she was one of the ladies in the group. I met her, one of the, the ladies from Box Fizz. I've met David Essex, I've got his photo. I've got David Essex. Uh, yeah, a lot of British people, because basically what happened is some shows in England, right, were so famous that it started having like a touring theatre company of it, you know, where they did it on stage. It used to get so big, the shows. Uh, it's about four or five shows, I remember, where they were so big, they'd have like a travelling theatre tour, you know, where you could go see it live, you know, all the cast. But what's good in Britain is, I don't know if you like, what's the best comedy in Britain is the one where it's not set in the present time. You know, if it's like comedy where it's set in the past, then it never ages, you know, if you can always watch it. And there's this, oh, um, we are. Jenny, Jenny again. Oh, I'll have to start coming. This is a mini town, this. I'll have to start saying, this is a mini town. This is where the mini are made. Right, let me just think where we are. Oh, yeah, that can be a top conversation, yeah. And now I've just... Yeah, I'm just thinking, yeah, I've actually, obviously I'm talking about when I've actually got their autograph. I mean, as in famous, as in, yeah, as in just seeing famous people in the street. Again, I've only seen some actors from British television. Um, I saw Kira. All right, it's okay. Yeah, shush. <laughs> um... Yeah, obviously, I don't know if you're aware of, like, the world champion of darts. He, he comes from Stoke-on-Trent. Apart from the world's strongest man, that Eddie, Eddie, what's it? That's something else I forgot. We, we, we're good at, yeah, we're good at darts as well. I don't know if you ever watch darts. But we have the world champion that comes from Stoke-on-Trent as well. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Phil Taylor. He was, like, the world darts champion for years. Yeah, Phil Taylor, if you look him up. And where, where I'm on about who I saw was somebody called Eric Bristow, who was like basically the champion in the set. He's like the, the sort of the darts champion in the 70s and the 80s. And I saw him at an airport once when I was on holiday. I thought, oh, that's Eric Bristow. <laughs> that was about how far I got. They're famous people. <sighs> if I can cross or not. Just cross this road, just a bit of concentration for a second. I'm just trying to not get run over. Hang on. Right. Right. I'm just wondering how long that walk to now. We're back at that mini garage now, Darby. There's that blue mini again. There we are. Yeah, so how long's that took? Is that about uh, 50 minutes, is it? Hang on. Yeah, obviously we, we, were faffing around, we were faffing around the minis for a, a short time, weren't we? So I'd say you could knock about five minutes off that because we were looking at the minis. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a lot of wandering to the town centre now. It's a lot of wander. We're all right for time. I said to me, uh, I said to me, a uh, person picking me up, I said, give me, give me 90 minutes. So uh, I'm best saying 90 minutes, so. Give me a bit more time. Alright, let's just go around the, let's just have a little look around the town. See what's open. Let's just go up the street. Because you know that you know somebody called Bear Grills, don't you? That adventurer person. You know Bear Grills, we've basically got a we've basically got a cafe named after him. <laughs> it's like a cafe named after him. Right. Yeah, so that's another that's another topic. I'm trying to think of things. Um, I'm trying to think of things that can uh, we can talk about, you know, a bit later on, because obviously it's hard to have a deep conversation when you're always walking <laughs> and trying to cross main, trying to cross busy roads. Oh, right. Yes. Right, let's just go up the town and hope just go uh, explore a few little streets in the town. It's just a little tiny town where we are anyway, so 
Yeah, this town, we're having a mere daily exercise in London. Where's, where's the Queen's Palace? Let's go find the palace. It says I'm in London. I did go London once, actually. I said, oh, I'll, I'll be coming back again. I've never gone back. I, been, I went about 10 years ago. And that's, that's another story, basically. I don't know if you've ever done that, but uh, I just basically applied for tickets. I found out how you could get tickets for like, TV shows, you know, to be in the audience. And uh, I put my name down once and got some tickets. And uh, ended up going to London to be in the audience of a show, like a chat show. And uh, that was the last time I went. Oh, they still got the Christmas lights up. That's weird, Darby. Look, they still got the Christmas lights up. Can you see them in the daylight? Look. Oh. They forgot to take them down. Yeah, can you understand that? Can you understand that? I oh, know, no, that's weird. So, uh, pedestrian zone. Ooh. Right. Right. Let's hope there's not much traffic down this road. Let's have a little wander down this street. I'm trying to pick the street so there's no... Uh... Ooh, that's a nice feature. That's how this shop used to be, a butcher's. Look, they've even got a nice tile surround. It isn't a butcher's anymore, it's like a, a charity shop. But they've even... It used to be a butcher's, look, when it was built. It was made into a butcher's, look, all that nice tile thing still there. It's like, a, it's like tiles on the wall. So it's obviously permanent. <laughs> I think it's denoting it used to be a butcher's. Right. There we are. Yeah, so a lot of our high street uh, banks are going. We've just lost another store that I usually go there. Oh, the, oh yeah, the little one there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's because they're it's because they're all like basically built at different times, aren't they? So they, you've got a lot of variety to the structures. Yeah, we're okay. We'll have a little wander down this high street. There's lots of old buildings to show you, as you can see. Let me just uh, cross over. Hello, Marge. Welcome to Misco. We we'll get we've got to start set stop things. We've got, to stop say, we've got to stop saying scope, haven't we? We keep saying scope to everything. Yeah. We're usually on the hunt for minis, but we've seen about 12 now, so we're exhausted looking at minis. Oh. Yeah, there's a nice building. Let's check if the time's correct. There we are. There we go. Yeah. Right, hang on. There's an old British public, all black and white, a red lion. That's an old cool public. I suppose that's what you, you think. It's all from like Harry Potter style, isn't it? All these, uh, all these old buildings. Because I suppose that's yeah, where. This building, uh, oh, right. oh, regicide, yeah, yeah, right, I've just realised that building, right, that building was where, if I can try and, hang on, let me just stand here a second, look at this cool building here, this is a town hall, look. Yeah, basically that pub I've just shown you, I can't remember exactly what the king was. I think it was Charles I, right? It's supposed to have been a thing where they were, it was called regicide, where they were trying to assassinate the king. And apparently he signed his documents to try and assassinate the king in that pub. So I can't remember which king it was, but I remember it was Charles I or one of the early ones. Because it, it just said he signed his regicide papers in that pub. So that's about where you're trying to murder the, murder the, like kill the monarch. That's regicide, I think. You're trying to kill the monarch. So, uh, 
roads, just watch the roads, try not to get run over. You should get run over when you're periscoping. Do, 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 do. You know, there's another nice old British pub, look. There's another nice old one. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a statue. Right, there's a soldier statue. There we go. You see the soldier? Soldier. That's a war memorial. There we go. Oh. I don't know when that pub was built. It looks very old. Right, are you still there? It's gone quiet. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Just went all very quiet there. I thought, well, I've lost you. There's a, little, there's a little park area. There's a little park area. I'm trying to look for some squirrels. I can't see any squirrels. That must be an important tree. It's got a fence around it. That must be an important tree there. That's going to... Oh, yeah, here's a dog statue. Here's another statue. I think this is a dog that was from the armed forces, I think, that passed away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> right. Right, let's have, a look. let's have a little think where we are. Just going to gauge me time. Oh, yeah, I've got a clock in front of me. There we go. Hang on, is that a bit slow? Oh, no, that's correct. Yeah, 25 to 4. Yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, I said I was going to finish. Oh, we are the. Oh, this is what they built. Oh, cool! Look at this derby. I saw some. Uh, I saw them digging this up about um, last time I come, and they've done like a little war memorial thing. Look at this. This has all been done since I last came here. Look. It's like a new war memorial. This is all. This has all been built since I last came. Cool. Let's see what it says on it. I think it's. Uh... All right. Cool. Yeah, that's my that's my hometown. Yeah, it's it's telling you everybody who's died. Oh, cool. This is all. This has only been put here recently. Oh, right. It's like um. Yeah, it's a bit like there's something that's about thirty miles away from me where it's um. I forgot what it's called, but basically it honors all the people who've died in the previous wars. Right, all the wars. And then obviously anybody new that passes gets added to it. And I think that's what this is. It shows you everybody who's died in the past. And then obviously any military people who died recently, they're just getting added to the thing at the end, look. They're like just getting added to the thing at the end. So this is all empty, look. They're going to add extra people on. So it's like just keep, add, add it, keep adding names to it. Oh, cool. All right. Right. <laughs> Yes, I think I'm I'm meeting me uh, I'm meeting me me lift at uh, four p.m. So yeah. So what time is that for you, Darby? What's uh, the top of the hour? What's that going to be for you? Yeah. So just give me about five minutes' notice before. Tell me at five to. What we'll do is we'll have a little walk up to that. Church. We'll have a little walk up to that church there, and then uh, that should be my, my total walk. Then we'll have a little walk up to that church. And that'll be, I think I've covered everything in the town then. Let's go over to that little church. And then uh, we'll head back to the uh, the pickup point. Right. Are we up to date with comments? Well, we've got a few minutes. I think we're up to date with any comments, any questions? Da -da -da -da. Somebody's in Hanley. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we've got a bit further to go, haven't we, for have a, have a meet-up? <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit further to go for a meet-up, haven't we? We're a bit further. All oh, right. Right. Let's have a little wander up to that church. As long as the signal's okay, that's the main thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's look at the price. We're just passing estate agent, yeah. 
If you want to come live here, Derby, there we go. 150,000. There we go. Uh, let's find the dearest one. Let's try and find the dearest one. Yeah, you know, that's oh, sorry, 90,000, that one. That's 90,000. We can have that one. Let's try and find the dearest. There we are, that's the dearest. There we are, 320,000. There we go. There we are, let's go that one. Is there an association fee? All oh, right. Yeah, that's an old building. They are Albert Chambers, eighteen thirty-nine. That's an old building. Go look at the chair. Ooh, that's an old archway. It's so weird when you walk around the town, you know, and you see so many different styles of buildings, you know. Right. Yeah, this will be all right. Yeah, this is a good little walk. Yeah, I'll have to do this again. It should be uh, just enough, just over an hour, uh, just to see everything. Because we did just dawdle look at the minis for a bit, didn't we? So it's about an hour walk. We just dawdle around the minis a little bit. So. Oh. Getting me exercise. Oh yeah, I remember this church. It's so weird. When you see the top bit there, you think it's a really old church all the way down. It looks quite modern, the bottom piece there. But the tower looks very old. Because obviously you get that with churches. Sometimes you get a, an older piece, you know, that's been added. It looks like, an, we've got those pointy spikes again. There's the pointy spikes again. It's probably the style of the church when it gets added to different, different sections. You know, it's an old building. Yeah, I'd be glad when we can have a chat when I'm not walking and I can read all the comments. <laughs> oh, it's hard not to miss comments when you're, when you're walking constantly. Oh, and then some people say, you're not reading me comments. <laughs> I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to not get run over. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some columns. Hello, Marge. I just think of the Simpsons when I see Marge. You say Marge, just think of the Simpsons, don't you? Marge. Hello, Marge. St. Peter's. Oh, it's a grade one Georgian church. There we go. Look at that. It's a grade one. It's a grade one church. Oh, it's nice and quiet anyway. No traffic. Let's have a little look at the... Uh... Yeah, Darby's just in charge of comments just while I'm trying to find something interesting to look at. <sighs> Comment girl. I'll try and get a nice view of this of the spire. Where's the spire? There we go. Can you see the spire there? There we go. Ah that bit yeah that look that looks like that bit old and the back of it looks a bit older. A bit newer. Spire looks old, the clock. And the door. That bit looks old. Oh yeah, let's have a little closer look. Right. Thanks for the hearts, everybody. Uh, obviously, <laughs> they feel a bit redundant giving people hearts this late on it, really. But uh, it's more about obviously uh, where we're moving forward, isn't it? With uh, uh, with helping helping things, you know. It's a whole lot of wonder. Yeah, I say I'm still on Periscope, everybody, but obviously everybody been moving over to something else else at the end of March. We just keep being on Periscope till the end of March. Well, up to yet, obviously. If anything, we're just waiting for the other apps to improve, where they're satisfactory for us, aren't we? Where we want it to be as good, if not better, than the Periscope. That's what we're all hoping for. That we have a better experience in Periscope. Right. Just but it's all they want to do is just bring all the features of Periscope and then just make just add features and make it better. <laughs> all the features of Periscope and just add to that and make it all the missing features. Add, add all the missing features to to the next uh, platform. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I say I'm registered with everything, Marco. I'll well, see Marco then. Hello, Marco. 
Yeah, I am registered with everything. I just don't. I'm just don't know where I'm going to end up. I can do, I can do YouTube live. I can do uh, Twitch live. I've got Twitch. I've got YouTube. I've got Twitter. I've got Facebook, Instagram. I've got all of them installed. I've all got accounts. But obviously, I'm just seeing where uh, where everybody goes over to. You know, obviously, you don't want to be somewhere where there's just you on there. You know, just trying to try not to follow the pack, so to speak. But obviously, they're all going to haps at the moment. All the all the OG ones are moving to haps. Um, but obviously, they've got, they've got the followers, and obviously, me and Darby are still trying to build a follower base. You know, if we just jump over to another, we're trying to build a platform. We're trying to build the followers on Periscope, aren't we? Before um, before we. Uh, before it all closes, you know, just trying to build some uh, build, build some followers up before we move. Because I've done that before, obviously, Darby. I've gone on like YouTube, you know, and if you just if you just broadcast on YouTube, you know, nobody will come on. You know, it's like you know, you just want a few viewers on, and uh, obviously it's a bit. No, the problem is, yeah, the problem with Twitter Live is there's no discovery, is there? You've just got to be following somebody, you know, you can't really discover new people and just come across them you know unless obviously somebody retweets everything if people retweet and then uh, but i just realized that with the uh, i just watched a chap last night he was like a dj and he just live he just live dj sets and uh i thought to him i said oh what's going to happen with all these replays you know are you going to save them or post them somewhere else because he does like 80s and 90s uh dj sets you know mega mixes and I thought, can you remember what can you remember what Periscope said? As long as you've retweeted it on Twitter, then it can it stays on Twitter as a, as a video you can watch. So as long as you retweet everything, it always stays on Twitter as a as a, re a replay, even when Periscope's gone. It lives on as like a replay through Twitter, Twitter apparently. So obviously, with me, I, I, yeah. So basically, if you just retweet all your Periscopes. They're not going to go anywhere, you know. They're always going to be. Obviously, you'd have to keep scrolling through, through Twitter, you know. Oh yeah, there's a bear. Uh, yeah, that's that from a few years ago, and it was called. It was. It's always known as Bear Town, uh, particular where I am. It's used to call Bear Town. Oh yeah, there's another mini. May as well say there's another mini there. Mini. Is that about 12 minutes now? Oh, that's the four-door one. That's the big one. Yeah, he's, yeah, Darby, he's a tractor. Yeah, he's a tractor. Hang on, tractor. Yeah, he's a tractor. <laughs> tractor. Yeah, but I say I don't know, obviously, moving forward, obviously, obviously, I've, I've discussed with you before about the super hearts, you know, I've got, I think, oh, these are all nice, all painted colours, these buildings, look at all these different styles of buildings, there's uh, some more, it looks a bit like when the, these are what's called Georgian buildings, where I feel like you see a lot of these when you go to the seaside, when you, you go to the coast in England, you see buildings like these, these big sort of Edwardian, I think they're Edwardian, those type of buildings, with like the, bal with like the balconies, you know, look at the different styles of buildings if you just walk around the streets. They've got like a lot of balconies. I don't know what style that is, if there's an archi architecture expert in. <laughs> Those houses where they have tend to have little balconies where you can open the open the double doors, you know, and sort of stand outside on a balcony. I don't know what they call that style. But, uh, yeah, like the French doors, that's it, yeah. Right. Right, that's it. We'll just sort of slowly make our way back now to the town centre. And then I might have, I think there's a Costa. I think there's a costa here, I might be able to have my ruby. Church again. Well we've we've achieved everything. I think I can have a I think I can have a ruby. We've seen about twenty minis. Uh, there's an old building there. Are we up to date with the comments? Any particular questions? I think we're up to date with comments. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I say I arranged to meet somebody at, foot, at uh, on the hour, so I should be back. Yeah. Oh, that's an old house. The ones where they have the st stairs up to the door, look. And all the old stairs up to the door. The old stairs up to the door. 
Yeah, that's the park where we just were across there. There's the trees. That's all part of the park where we just were. But oh yeah, there's a lot of columns in this town. Yeah. There's columns. A lot of columns. Yeah, lots of different styles. Yes, uh, I'm just trying to wrap up my thoughts now. What we're discussing. Uh, yeah, salted caramel bars. We discussed that. I've got the app, so I know what your temperature and weather's doing. I've got an app for that. I forgot what the name is now. I'll, I'll send you the uh, link. I'll send you the. You can, you can buy the naked bars. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I say I'll just see if there's a queue in cost and then I might uh, end the broadcast, I think, because I get to cost it. Right. Are you going to be doing any scoping today, do you think, a bit later, or any scoping plans? Right. I, don't know why, I don't know why the Christmas lights are still up, because what I'd like to show you is, I don't know if you're wearing a Blackpool, it's like a major place where everybody goes in the winter and they have a lot of cool Blackpool illuminations. And obviously with all this lockdown on, they've left and they're usually finished now, but I think they said they're just going to keep them up until everybody can visit, you know. And uh, they haven't, we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't been able to see it yet. Hello, D from Cool. This is where you're getting all the, all the American viewers are just waking up now. They're all coming in. <laughs> when I'm about to finish, all the Americans will come in. <laughs> Yes, but I say, uh, if you make sure you follow Darby, she's a good scoper. Oh yeah, he's Costa. I found Costa. Tis, tis open. Tis open. Yeah, well, like I say, I've just got like a deal at the moment where I've got lots of data. So uh, I'm basically into my third month of like loads of data. They're letting me have loads of free data. When I, when I top up £20, they give me loads of free data. So uh, I've obviously got plenty of... Plenty of uh, well, that's a nice photo. Just see it through the shop window. This is like a photography shop where they process photos. It's got a nice big one in the window. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, yeah. Show you a few of the high street stores. Oh, yeah, there's a closed one. It's only a little, uh, a little town where we are. Let's see if Greg's is open. Oh right! Oh yeah! All the um, yeah, all the uh, yeah. Fancy! You have to go fancy. <laughs> oh yeah! Got our ATMs, cash machine. Yeah, get some money out. That's the best shop. There's a card shop. Sell cards. That's it now. We'll just show you the. Uh, I'll just show you this pub at the top of the street. Yeah, there's not much open. We'll just go to the uh, supermarket. I think that's the only shop that's open. I was just hoping that Greg's was open. Forget a hot drink, but it's closed. Oh, yeah, that's where they sell all the hot soups and the, the pies and sausage rolls. It's closed. Vegan sausage roll. There you go. Yeah, we, we have a lot. Of, yeah, we have a lot of that in England, and, and they call it vegan Veganuary, I think. Veganuary, <laughs> where everybody's tries to be vegan. Everybody's tries to be vegan for thirty days. Right, I'll just end on this pub here. There you are. That's a nice old pub. That's a that's a pub there. That's a pub where you can have a drink. Yeah, you know? that's got a tower and everything. That's an old building. The Counting House, there we are, that's an old pub. Right, just good timing now, it's been 20% batteries just come on, so that's not been too bad. We covered a lot, covered a lot in an hour, that was. Whew. I don't know why the Christmas lights are still up, though. That's confusing me, the Christmas lights are still up. <laughs> you haven't turned them off. You haven't turned them off, look. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, what we'll do, 
what we'll do, I'm just thinking, what we'll do is I'll go, you know, there's a, there's a British letterbox where you put your post in. Yay. Yeah, that was always red. Apparently, the person who designed the post box is the same person who designed the phone box, you know, because they're both red. They're both in bright red. Uh, the, the phone box and the letter, the letter box is designed by... Yeah, they're designed by the same person. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll just walk... Yeah, we've got to walk down to the car park anyway. We'll just do uh, just a few minutes, just five minutes down here. And uh, we'll wrap everything up. Uh, yeah, I, can, I might jump back on, because obviously we've got a little... I've got a little journey. I've got to travel... Uh, a bit of a journey just to travel back home. I could obviously scope the journey if uh, there might be something interesting to see. Car scope, oh yeah. Driving scope, well, passenger scope, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, ornament shop, ornament shop, you know, let's have a look. Oh yeah, Darby, there's your bald eagle. There we go. Yay. There you are. Hey, look what it says on the sign. Fancy seeing that just for your, just for your country. <laughs> I've, got, I've got your bald eagle. There, it's, uh, I think it's £55, that is. Oh, there's a wolf, what you meet on your walk. Say, oh, there's a wolf. <coughs> Just a few shops here with knickknacks. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Do -do -do. Right, yeah, so you're trying to cut off and then you keep seeing all these new shops. So I think that's it now. Yeah, I'll just walk back to the car park and just see if, uh, see if my lift's waiting. <sighs> Mini! Oh, <laughs> oh I give up. This is like this is like this is like many town. This is. I've seen about twenty though. Oh God, he's another one. Oh, he's another one. <laughs> oh God, he's another one. Yeah, I live. Oh dear. Right, let me concentrate. Hang on, let's cross over. Yeah, we'll see a nice view from here. Look at that view in the distance. Let me just end it on this wall here. Hang on. Yeah, I can see like a hill in the distance over there. Look. Hang on. It's all that over there. I think that's the Peak District over there, like Buxton and the, the Peak District over there in the distance. See all those hills in the distance. Yeah, we're always surrounded by hills where we are. We're always surrounded by hills, and uh, that's why we get a lot of floods, because obviously they were surrounded by hills and mountains. I mean, we, ne we, never, we never flood where my home is, because I'm at the top of a hill, so... But we do get in the low-lying areas, you'll get a lot of flood, flood issue, flood warnings, you know. But luckily, I do live at the top of a hill, so we never have any flood issues, so... Uh, Yeah, yeah, you have you have Aldi's, don't you? There's Aldi, 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 Aldi. Yeah, groceries, groceries. That's Morrison's. This is Morrison's car park there. That's another big supermarket there, Morrison's. Oh yeah, Morrison's sign there. That's the clock tower we just at. Right. 
Right, Darby, I think that's it then. We'll call that a day. Thanks for watching. And I'll, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll just review, yeah, I'll just review the footage that I might, uh, I might pop on for the journey back home. Uh, if you want, pop back on again. I might just be in the car, then we can have a. Yeah, yeah, it'll probably be about ten minutes. I'll be probably travelling, uh, returning home. So about ten minutes, yeah. Okay, Darby, thanks. I'll just end my scope and then we'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon today. A bit later. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thanks. Right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm just going to finish my scope now. Uh, make sure you follow me on, I'm not sure where, I'm on Periscope every day till it closes and then uh, I'll pop up on another. Make sure you follow me on haps.tv and YouTube. I'm just doing a few test broadcasts at the moment on haps.tv and YouTube and Twitter, Twitter Live. I'm just uh, experimenting with the other platforms. But I'll be on Periscope till it closes at the end of March. And I'll keep an eye on the alternatives and then obviously I'll have to settle somewhere else. So make sure you follow me on YouTube. I, I'll upload a lot of my videos to YouTube, a lot of my Periscopes. And I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff on there because I've got over 400 Periscopes now. So there'll be a point when they're gonna let me download them all. So I'll upload a lot of them on YouTube, all the interesting ones. And uh, I say, if you want to support the channel, I'm on buymeacoffee.com forward slash chase the who. Or you can buy me a coffee. it would be much appreciated. Uh, make sure you follow Darby. She does some good sunset and sunrise scopes and travel scopes. And uh, I'm based on UK time. So obviously I'm starting to get light at night. So it goes dark about 4.30 p.m. in the UK. And uh, I do my scoping in the afternoon. Obviously, unless I jump on it for something more interesting. I do sunsets where I can, but obviously British weather. As you can see, this is British weather. So uh, stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody, Marco and Darby and Roland. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.